Octa admins can now require specific FIDO2 web auth and authenticators. This feature enables organizations to provide consistent security controls by requiring employees and extended workforce to enroll and authenticate using specific security keys while denying access to keys not on the allowed list. I'll walk you through this new feature in this demo. In this demo, there are two different experiences. First, I will log in as an Okta admin and walk you through the steps to create an allow list. In this demo, we'll require partners to authenticate with YubiKey 5 FIPS series with NFC. Second, I'll walk you through a partner user experience while enrolling two different web authn authenticators one on the allowed list and one not on the allowed list. Let's get started. I've now logged in as an Okta admin. Now let me walk you through the configuration in three steps. Step one, I've created an Okta group called Partners. Rachel is a new partner. In the interest of time, I've created a new account for Rachel and also activated it. I will navigate now to FIDO2 web Authn Authenticator to configure. Here, user verification is set as required. This setting requires users to provide a pin after tapping the UB key. Step two, inside authenticator settings, I will create a new authenticator group to limit the type of FIDO2 web auth and authenticator that partners can enroll in or verify with. I have now added a new authenticator group. Step three, include the authenticator group in the enrollment policy. In the interest of time, I've created a new enrollment policy for partners. I will now update this enrollment policy. Here, instead of requiring any web authn authenticators, I'm going to select the authenticator group created in step two. That's it. I just walked you through the configuration. Now I'll walk you through a partner user experience enrolling two different web authn authenticators, one on the alert list and one not. Here, Rachel enters a login followed by the one-time code sent to her email. Rachel follows steps to enroll her security key. First, she follows steps to enroll YubiKey 5C Nano. This authenticator is not on the allowed list. Error message is displayed. This is the expected outcome. Next, Rachel follows steps to enroll YubiKey by FIP series with NFC. This authenticator is on the allowed list. Enrollment is complete. Rachel has successfully authenticated. Let's recap. I walked you through the configuration and user experience. You just saw how organizations can provide consistent security controls by requiring employees and extended workforce to enroll and authenticate using specific security keys while denying access to keys not on the allowed list. Thank you.